The big day has finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. It will now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Yes, Headmaster. Then speak them now. Ecoverse Shale. What is up, guys? And welcome back to some more of the Sea of Stars. We're on to the next episode. We ended up going through the Forbidden Cavern. Uh, Garl unfortunately lost his eye. I think he lost his eye at least because he's still covering it even though I think uh, the headmaster healed him up. So coming over here to the chamber I guess we just got to go to sleep and they're just saying go to sleep on like your respective uh, magic side. So uh, I don't want to be right there at the steps so I'll go sleep here. The bro got to go to the other side. The next morning in the training room. Good morning, fellas. What up, BGs? BGs! So you'll be our trainer? I wish. Arlene and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. Uh, we got a training sword, and then we're gonna get a training staff. Yep. All right, let's get to work. Oh, and you guys are gonna notice uh, I switched to PlayStation uh, for the game just because I want the trophies, so. Can't blame me, but first episode, it still felt good playing on PC, but I still enjoyed getting my trophies on PlayStation, so here we are. You got this, Valer. Never. Damn. All right. Yeah, just like I was saying in the last video, uh, the ladder's just gonna be there for training for them to climb up and down. <laughs> Come on, Zell, keep up. I could do this. So is he like underperforming compared to Valer now? Or just in general? Push-ups. Those are like the weirdest push-ups. Look, look at the way his, he's doing like the worm. Like, bro, what? 99, 100. That's it for today. You did great. You. you guys got like 11 year olds <laughs> doing 100 crunches uh, or sit-ups and 100 push-ups. That was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Erlina will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready. All right, let's go. Terrace. I guess that's out here because like going straight up there's uh yeah there we are going straight up is the headmaster's room oh there you are ready to learn magic hell yeah it should feel as if something was scratching an itch far away from me what you must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer i think it's working hey you startled me, I almost had it. Now mine's gone too. It's okay, just breathe slowly. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your timing is true, it will manifest on three. One. Two. Three. Womp womp womp. <laughs> I think I felt it. It tickles. Right there. Or right there. You just did the hardest part. We, uh, we did. I feel like we didn't really accomplish much. <laughs> I'm sure your training will go well, but one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life. And Erlina. Since you are done onboarding our new recruits in the Ways of Magic, I will provide the briefing for your next assignment. Ooh, Headmaster Corrupt, y'all. As for the two of you, it is about time you tried that sewing kit. Move along now. Damn, they really got us in here sewing. <laughs> and making a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have no idea what shape to even make. At least the Headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. I mean, I guess you just gotta get creative with whatever you want, right? Well, I'm bored. 
Oh, so they're gonna like let us like explore and whatnot? Can I read what's on these tables? Nope. Y'all just don't want your boy to read, huh? Save it real quick. Not sure if anything's gonna happen. Maybe we can like go to the headmaster and see him doing weird stuff, right? Keep saying that, but the Fleshmancer left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? And you know the three of us can take the one on Wrath uh, Island, yeah. Take the one on Wraith Island, actually. We don't need them. Prudence, Alina. There's no telling what threats we may face in the future. Valer and Zale were brought to Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. It is not the place of the Headmaster to question such things. And neither is yours. So how much is enough? What about Moyara? What about the twins? Fiji's. Do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. Yeah, he gonna put him in his place. This conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But let's just go, Bee Gees. And none of y'all like noticed us or me over there. And so they trained and they sewed for days and then for months. Faster now. I want to do push-ups faster? Focus and then release. And the longer a dweller is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long, and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. Since delaying only increases the chances of a world eater, cleansing always targets the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, if dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? Ah, that is why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments, only the dwellers' weaknesses are exposed. So we gotta have these total eclipses in order to kill dwellers, okay. How many dwellers are left? Just the one, known as the Dweller of Woe. But well, we cannot know for sure. The Fleshmancer just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Valer? What happened with the Dweller of Strife? And who's Moyara? That will be all for today. Uh-oh. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Valer, wake up! Zale, what is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go check it out. Alright. We about to get to fight again? Do we have magic, uh skills to use that like this early on since like we've been training for months now right maybe we'll oh it's locked oh what's that Hey, look. Oh, smells good. Is that sandwiches from Garl or something? There's a note. Dear Valer and Zale, yep, knew it was from Garl. This boy can cook. If you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with the celestial willow jam you liked. Aw, wait, doesn't he get in trouble for that, though? Didn't they warn him about that? Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up and I can see Moraine is there waiting for me. 
He looks very angry. I will try to drop the jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try a visit again. But I'm thinking of you every day and I can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time, Carl. Carl's the best. Let's go up on the disc to eat the cookies. Okay, so we got cookies. But he says he got caught. Like, he came all the way here just to try to give us cookies, bro. But not only that, but he used the Celestial Willow Jam. So I guess everything tastes good with that Celestial Willow Jam or something. These cookies are amazing. I can't believe Garl was just there. I miss him so much. He seems well, at least, after what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. Knowing him, I bet he smiled it away the next day. <laughs> You're probably right. We can't let something like this happen ever again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never show something good enough for the Elder Mist. It will happen. We just have to keep on training hard. And so they trained and they sewed for years. And then they trained and they sewed some more. Until one day. Damn, so it really has been like, what, like eight years? Six to eight years, maybe? Sail, that's the one. Oh, snap. I can feel it too, hold on. All right, I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. At least now we know what that is uh, that they carry on them. Or why they carry it on them. Look at that, it just showed us grow, grow up on that save file change. Headmaster, we think we're ready. Why yes, the tingle of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations, moving forward there will be no more sewing. I can deal with that. It will soon be time for you to leave on your own journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before you get to that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitors just arrived. Perfect timing. We get like a, another... Oh, snap! Y'all are back. <laughs> My, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Arlena and Bee Gees are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them, then it'll be the time for your final test. Yeah, we want to review the combat basics. Let's get started. Just attack me now in any order. So we can use the D-pad to select through available characters. Party members can use their turn in the order of your choice, but they can only act once per round. When all of your party members are on cooldown, the round resets and they all become available again. Okay. Okay. Not bad. So I'm going to, I guess, attack with him. 13, 15, good. Focus is paramount whenever you perform attack and skills. With proper time, you can increase the damage that you deal and sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Press X as the hit connects to increase damage. Okay. That was too soon. Stay focused and press as the hit connects. Okay, there we go. And you get like you get the sound effect uh, on it too. Good. Let's see that one more time. Ouch! Yeah, that's the gist of it. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Some also keep going with more hits until you miss. Remember to think of time hits as a welcome addition when you pull it off, rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. Just don't worry about it too much. Just keep on trying and your sense for it will develop over time. Well, ain't that the truth? They really just taught us about muscle memory. <laughs> okay, now for the timing, you're blocked. Let's get the little guy in here. Little guy. To be efficient in battle, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving. With proper time, you can reduce the damage of incoming attack or spell by blocking. Get ready. Okay, so the same thing when we <laughs> take damage. Too soon, okay. Still too soon. It like lags in the air for a little bit. 
I pressed the thumb. Come on, that time. Oh, you could just like hold it too. Don't be too hard on yourself. No one expect to block everything all the time. It's not about getting it perfect all the time, but rather building a growing sense for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is to remember to read your enemies and to keep trying. Oh, one more thing. What? what? When a party member gets knocked out by y'all, y'all did not have to do that. <laughs> You'll need to switch to a more defensive mode. KO'd allies will get back up on their own at 50% HP once all the KO stars are gone. So we got like what two turns? One KO star is removed in each round. Okay, yeah. The more you fall during the same battle, the more KO stars there are, so be careful. If all party members go down, it's game over. Fight and survive until Zale returns. There you have it. Good work today. I'm sure the exam will be a breeze. Ready to go through the basics of magic. Okay, so he teaches physical combat, she teaches magical combat. When enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. If you follow your senses, you can try dealing damage of the types that will break their concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. Valeria can do blunt damage and Zale has slicing. Let's see you break this one. Okay, so when you get the extra hit and you can, okay. So you can get, get rid of those boxes like twice in a, in like one attack. Just like that. Now, some spells will also demand magic damage to break. You can control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. Zale for Sun and Valer for Moon. Press X to deflect. Oh, that's dope. Okay, so it goes until... <laughs> literally until, like, I miss pretty much. Well done. Now you can sense your MP is a bit low, right? To keep up the pace in battle, you must remember to regenerate MP. Let's build it back up a bit. Hit me with a normal attack. Did you feel that? You just got some MP back by attacking. Yeah, we got back three. In battle, awareness leads to victory. You must pace your spells with normal attacks to avoid ending up in a dire situation with no MP available to get out of it. And on the flip side, you should not hesitate to use spells when MP abounds. For a regular attack on a full bar is a waste of regeneration. The key is to experiment. Keep on varying your actions and find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. One last thing. All battle actions, lock breaking especially, build your combo energy. When you have enough, you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. Combos cost no MP and are lost after battle, so you should never hesitate to use them. Moraine told me you came up with your first combo attack. Show it to me. Solstice Strike. That's it? <laughs> it's just like our basic attack at the same time? Yeah, you're strong, all right. Keep an eye out in your adventures. You're bound to come across scrolls that will teach you more combos. Ah, okay. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. So now it's like a good idea to look for these scrolls to see what other combos are in the game. Moraine will see you to the final test. I'm sure you'll do great. Let's go. Are you ready for the final test then? <laughs> yes, sir. Then let us begin. Mastery of every Zenith Academy has taught you. Or everything Zenith has taught. Your final challenge awaits below. We gotta fight uh, Bee Gees and Erlina. Please step aside. Oh, before I forget. Here's a little something to keep your health full. Three tomato clubs. Okay. 
Now, with faith in your abilities and purpose in your actions, take the leap and return as the new recruits of our order. I'm ready, Valer. Let's just go for it. Let's go. Oh, snap. I was going to say, hopefully this breaks our fall. Y'all, I got I to gotta add to the counter. This music's already fire. Over here. Oh, shit. Ornate stone? What is that? Did I not? Uh, there we go. <laughs> a weighted stone fits a brazier in the Zenith Academy. Okay, so we got to put that over here. Let's go, we got we got a fight. Oh, so he's a healer, okay, that's good to know. Dang, that was nice. And let me check to make... Okay, so our health now doesn't get replenished. And tomatoes is for 20. Oh, and this is how you can, like, change, like, who's in charge now. Can we check these areas out? No, they just hold the... And he's like, dang, I probably should have went forward first to see, like, what was in there, huh? It's actually really cool. Dang, I did not know he was hidden from the side like that. <laughs> Dang, she's gonna go down. But I will say at least they let us have our squad like come back with half health. I should be able to to heal. Yeah, there we go. Now we're just gonna have to start like the next fight with uh like no MP. But better than going in with like low health. Oh, I knew we were gonna have to fight them. Oh wait. We're not. <laughs> They haven't even been to the other side of the Forbidden Cavern yet. How could they understand? So you don't think we should at least try and explain? You see how strong they are. Weird would be a walk in the park. Or wired? <laughs> Let's see them off then. Is this just like fully heal us and stuff, or it just activates? <laughs> oh, it sends down another 
Quite. <laughs> Wired. <laughs> Exam mode engaged. Brace yourselves. Aw, oh, snap. At least they healed us up. Alright, well... We're gonna go first. <laughs> Okay, that was kind of pretty. That was like kind of dope right there. But I didn't even do that much damage. Shuffle weakness, sun. Okay. Couldn't even like tell the timing on that. But okay, it's kinda neat that he's like going back and forth between like what it's gonna be weak against. Give me these pimp slaps. But we just disrupted his spell. Yeah. Yeah. I should have used the combo, but, you know, I kind of forgot. And we got the level ups. So pick a bonus. Uh... Dang. Honestly, I want to go for survivability early. <laughs> he needs more mana, honestly, though. But I can always get those later. Congratulations, you have been trained well. Return now to your headmaster. Congratulations, Valer and Zale. You have learned everything Zenith Academy had to teach you. Ha! We did it! In record time, too. You must now learn of our ultimate power, the ability to use magic without using magic. Uh, say what now? But that knowledge is for the Elder Mist to impart. Come, the village have gathered to celebrate your departure. Yeah, what you mean? <laughs> learn to use magic without using magic. I just spent years training to use magic. <laughs> it is on special days such as this one that the citizens of the Moon Cradle are reminded of the importance of their duties. Where's Garl? I don't see him. Many years ago, Valer and Zell were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Delivers on two solstices in a row to boot. A very rare occurrence. Oh, I remember. Gran was so happy to get to meet two more before she passed. Okay, you did not have to mention Gran. I miss Gran. All of you have come together to nurture and protect them, just like your ancestors have done for so many children of the Solstice before. Valerian Zale, step forward so that the good people of Moon Cradle might gaze upon those who will soon join the ranks of the Solstice Warriors. So yes, sir. This parading is ridiculous. Oh, let the villagers have their fun. It's all they get. So you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. Now, cheer with me as we send these young heroes out across the Forbidden Cavern to meet the Elder Mist. Hurrah! To the gate! What do we do? I want to see Garl before leaving. I guess we have to play along for now. Fingers crossed that we can come back after meeting this Elder Mist. 
fingers and toes. Belair, Zale, you must undertake this journey on your own now. We will not fail, Headmaster. Go now, through the Forbidden Cavern and atop the mountain trail to seek audience with the Elderness. Learn how to use magic without using magic, and you shall then enter the world as true Solstice Warriors. May Luna's might protect you! May Solon's light guide you! Here, this should keep you fed for a little bit. We got three more tomato cloves, okay. And if your adventure feels a little tough, you can take a look at these. Amulet of Storytelling. Got Sequent Flare. You just received your first two relics. Find them in the relic section of the game menu, accessible with triangle to adjust your experience. Whether you prefer a lighter challenge or are looking to push yourself to the match, relics offer a range of options. There's bound to be more to find. Remember to keep an eye out for merchants. Selling any valuables you find will keep you fed as well as equipped. Now, wherever your adventures take you, you must remember your first assignment. After the Eldermist sends you out into this world, you must secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. And to keep on training, for a dire cleansing awaits us. I still can't believe he wants them fighting a dweller already. That's Marine for you. We weren't much older the first time. Yeah, but we'll find a way. Safe journeys, and may you cleanse this world. I actually am loving like how the story's playing out with showing the previous uh, uh, Solstice Warriors trained before us, like having reservations on this whole process. May you cleanse this world. What's your guys' thoughts on it? And let me check out these items. You said was in the relics. So we could turn on the effect for max HP and auto heal after combat. Or successfully timing hits and blocks causes a star flare to fly out of the character for a clear as day confirmation that the input was properly timed. Recommended for the uh I'll turn that on. Just that way I can see like how well I'm doing with like the timing and stuff. But we're gonna leave things as is as far as uh the storytelling. So actually, is it on or is it off? Okay, it's already off, so cool. We're not gonna bother turning that on. Unless I feel like the game is like really brutal like that, but I don't know. Uh, but actually, since we're here at a save point, guys, I actually think I'll just end the video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. Let me know, you know, you enjoy this video, you enjoy the content, the commentary, whatever it is. You know, 75% of you guys are not subscribed. Hit that sub button for your boy. But with that said, stay sharp, guys. Later.